In their quest for green energy, scientists have been looking at what the sun has to offer. While photovoltaics could supply up to 12% of Europe's electricity in a few years, the technology needs further improvements. Promising leads are photovoltaics concentration, or CPV, that use optical systems to concentrate the light. Conventional photovoltaics uses cells like this. They operate at the conventional level of the sunshine. With many solar cells, very small and very tiny, we can uh, produce a thousand times more energy than with the conventional one. Direction, the south of Spain and its unique photovoltaic fields. This center hosts the most advanced technologies in Europe. Here, experts are testing the efficiency of modules developed under the EU-funded project NASIA. We are making the voltage, current and temperature measurement of the system. We check also the degradation of the system in the real weather conditions. We make temperature tests, humidity tests, hail impact, snow and UV tests. The objective is to make the technology ready for utility-scale power plants, but the project also developed new applications, such as this small demonstration plant in Egypt, which replaces the polluting diesel formerly used to pump water. In many locations around the world you do not have a grid connection, but you need electricity. We realized a standalone system which is not connected to the grid. It's completely autonomous and provides electricity there where it's needed, for example for irrigation. Such innovation could change the lives of millions of people, creating growth locally. By proving the reliability of CPV at an industrial and local scale, NASIR is confirming Europe as a leader in PV technology on the global photovoltaic market.